Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. I do apologize about the long wait for this daily video that I make every single day. Apparently there was some maintenance on our internet and our internet provider apparently sent an email. I never received it at all, so I was really, really frustrated and furious with them last night, and... They definitely, I definitely let them know. Um, but yeah, so they happened to schedule it exactly at the time that uh, Mad Mazar changed. So I do apologize for that. And unfortunately, this is the first time that I was able to do it. So I waited for about two and a half hours and then I just went to sleep. So here it is. Anyway, let's go and talk about the three things. We're going to go Mad Mazar's location. We're going to go over the different collection sets and their current cycles. And the last one, at least, we're going to go over all of the daily challenges in extensive details so that you guys can earn as much money or much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. Let's go ahead and show you guys right where you can find a Madame Nazar for today. And Madame Nazar is actually going to be kind of out west, not really. Uh, but she's going to be in the exact same spot that she was yesterday. At least I'm pretty sure this is where she was at yesterday. So Manzanita Post is going to be your fast travel destination of choice. So technically she's in the Tall Trees area. But if this is the only thing that you guys came here for today, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. A like definitely goes a long way here on the channel. It shows your support of these types of videos. It tells me that you want me to continue making these types of videos. And honestly, it just really helps me grow here on YouTube. So take that two seconds and go ahead and like and subscribe down below. All right, let's go and move on to the next thing. Let's talk about the different collection sets and their current cycles. Now, anything that involves using a field shovel has been uh, changed a little bit. So you're going to dig up a random whatever you're trying to collect with that field shovel. So if you're going after coins, you'll still get a coin, but you just might not get the coin that you are looking for. And you might actually get a couple of the exact same coins every single day because each dig site is completely random now. Um, so this is going to affect... Uh, different sets such as the Lost Jewelry, which will be a part of cycle number one. The Arrowheads, which will be a part of cycle number three. The Family Heirlooms, a part of cycle number one. Coins, a part of cycle number six. And then the Fossils, which are exclusive to the PS4 as of right now, are going to be a part of cycle number five. Now, the next four sets that I'm about to go over don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them. But you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. So I definitely advise getting that to collector bag as soon as you possibly can because in my opinion it is still very much worth it. We have the American Wildflowers which you can actually get three total sets every single day. That's going to be a part of cycle number six. We have the tarot cards which will be a part of cycle number two. We have the elk antique alcohol bottles which are going to be a part of cycle number six. And the bird eggs a part of cycle number four. Alright, so that's all of the different collection sets and their current cycles. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the daily challenges. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is go over the list. And then we're going to go over them in extensive detail. So, I this every single time. Extensive detail. I'm not sure why some people have a hard time understanding what extensive details are. But let's go ahead and uh, over them. Two American, or American Badgers skinned, five animals stowed on horseback, five Blackberries picked, one finished showdown in Takeover Series, one multiple player kill in five seconds in Posse Versus, five Raspberries picked, one have visited a shop in Rhodes. Bounty Hunter, we got three bounty targets lassoed from horseback, two bounty tar targets tagged with tracking arrows, two bounty targets taken down with bolas. We have 20 donations to Crips, 2 goods sold to a distant buyer, 6 large animal carcasses donated to Crips. The collector roll, we got uh, 5 bird eggs found, 3 collectors found, 3 coins found, and 3 collector maps used. And then the moonshine roll, we got drank own strong moonshine, 1 moonshine bar changed the core, and then 2 times play with the band for 2 minutes. And then the naturalist roll, we have... Three forest and river animal samples taken. Two hardy tonics used when too hot or too cold. And then we got one legendary animal photographed. All right, so let's go ahead and break these down. You guys can actually earn 11 gold bars every single day from completing the daily challenge. I would say realistically, you probably can make about four to five fairly easily each and every single day. Now there's two requirements. One main requirement and the other one is my opinion. Uh, the first one is to make sure that you guys have a daily streak completed of at least 21 days in a row by completing at least one daily challenge. Obviously, you can do more than that. 
And then my requirement is to make sure that you guys have as many roles as possible, preferably all of them, and then be at least a rank 10 in each of them. You guys will have access to 15 daily challenges by um, working on those, but you can only complete nine. When the reason that I suggest that you have all the roles and be at least a rank 10 is because then you'll have access to the 15 and you get to choose the nine easiest ones that you want to be able to participate in each and every single day. So same seven daily general challenges are going to be for everybody and you have to complete all seven to get that bonus, but you get to pick roughly half to do for the daily role challenges and you can actually earn more gold. So that's the reason that I definitely suggest that you work on the daily role challenges. All right, five gold bars, six gold bars. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about each different uh, group. So let's start with the daily general. American badgers found. Badgers can be found mostly anywhere. Uh, preferably, I like to go to Aurora Basin if I'm going to be looking for badgers or even the Heartlands. Heartlands is a fairly decent spot for finding them. Otherwise, I find a ton in the Tall Trees area, which is really close to where Madame Nazar is at for today. Then you just have to skim both of those, so expect that you're going to be getting sprayed by Harriet today. Because she doesn't like you killing any animals. Animals stowed on horseback. Again, this is going to be killing them, so you have to stroll them on the horseback. So whatever five you want to do, make sure that it's stowed on the horseback. It actually has to be the back of the horse, and it can't be like a, it has to be a large animal. It can't be a medium or a small. Five blackberries picked. Uh, I saw raspberries. Yeah, raspberries. That's really interesting that we got blackberries and raspberries, but they are going to be really, really close together. Now, the first thing that I'm actually going to show you guys is a group of. Um, Strawberries or raspberries, strawberries, but raspberries. Um, and we're gonna go to Valentine, and they're gonna be both right around Valentine, so you guys can actually get both of these completed pretty close together. Now, the first one will be right about here or so. Oh, actually, I'm in my it's probably right about here. Actually, it's right on that path. Uh, the other ones are gonna be over here by Downs uh, Ranch, which this is where a lot of the blackberries is gonna be by. So I'm gonna have to delete some of my markers so that you guys can actually see where they're at. We got one here. We got one that's gonna be probably up around in this area. And then we're gonna have one that's gonna be right on the top of this hill over here. Uh, right about there. And then if you guys come down to the lower part by Caliban Seat, you can find some here. And you can also find some up here on this ridge as well. So. I gave you guys a few different locations over here. Otherwise, there is a couple more over in this location. There's actually one right about in here. There's going to be one right about in here. One right about there or so. And so plenty of different spots that you guys can find raspberries. They're going to be a little bit more spread out than the blackberries will be. Because the blackberries are going to be pretty abundant right around um, Downs Ranch. So I'm just going to get rid of some of these markers so that you guys can actually... So I can put enough of them in here. We got one that's going to be right here. We got another one that's going to be pretty much straight in north of this this main house right here. Another one is going to be right next to where that raspberry was at, I believe. Uh, nope. Nope. I take that back. It's actually over here. Um, we have another one that's going to be right about here. Another one really close to the barn. Another one right here, basically where my camp is at. And then another one out here on this ridge. So, um, again, that's a lot of different locations that you guys can find. Now, typically, blackberries and raspberries will only have two at most. So, one or two is what you're going to be finding in each of these locations. But I gave you more than five. So, you guys should be perfectly fine to complete both of those in the same go around. Next one is going to be finish a showdown and takeover series. So, you just got to finish any takeover series. You don't have to be good at it. You just have to finish it. So as long as you start in the lobby, that's all you need to do in order to actually get this completed. Uh, five uh, second multiplayer kills with the posse versus. So this will require you guys to be a part of a posse in order to complete this one. You will preferably need to have two people because I've done this multiple times with one other person and I've never been able to get a five second kill by using explosive rounds, dynamite arrows, whatever. It's, it's like 10 seconds is about the quickest that you possibly can get it. Because the area that you respawn in is such a big area that it's just not likely that it's going to happen. I've never been able to get it to happen, so I've, I've tested this multiple times. 
We got visited a shop in Rhodes. It does not matter what shop you go to. I like to go to the butcher just because you don't even have to get off the horse at all. And it's right there. We're going to move on to the bounty hunter role, which is the only role that does pay out um, additionally in gold. We got three bounty targets blasted from horseback. So just stay on your horse. Take them with the tracking arrow, then lasso them from the horse. That's what I would do. So um, if you guys don't have the pamphlet for the tracking arrows, don't buy it. If you don't have the money and you want to spend your money on something else. But if you have plenty of money and you haven't purchased this yet, then by all means, go ahead and purchase that pamphlet. Not worth it in my opinion, but that's just me. We got two bounty targets taken down with bolas. So you lasso them from a horseback, release them, and then take them down with bolas. And you can actually get both of these done at the same time. And if you do have the pamphlet, then you can actually literally do all three of these at the exact same time with three separate bounty targets. Moving on to the trader role, we got 20 donations to Crips. Um, flight feathers work just fine or whatever you really want to donate. Again, flight feathers are the easiest because any bird that you shoot, you will get flight feathers and their feather. And the nice thing is if you shoot birds, it doesn't seem like Harriet actually cares. At least as of right now, anyway, her role might change at some point. We have two goods sold to a distant buyer. So this will require you guys to sell just two items and two goods. Um of your 100 that is possible at your camp to a distant buyer. This will take about 10 to 15 minutes to complete. And then we got six large animal carcasses donated to Crips. So if you want to do up your 20, you can donate six large ones. So pronghorn, deer, cougar, panther, whatever. It has to be a full carcass and not a skin. The next roll is the collector roll. We got the bird eggs. Again, those will be a part of cycle number four. Coins are going to be a part of cycle number six. And then you have to use three of your collector maps. I always start with one. I don't know why it's been like that for a really, really, really long time. Um, but we've got five bird eggs. Uh, so you can use the bird eggs and then the coins and then just one random one and you'll be able to find all those. Moonshine roll. We got drank own strong moonshine. So to start a moonshine batch or if you have one completed, just go in and drink whatever it is at the bar. You got to change the decor. You can either change the entire theme, which costs gold, or spend a little bit of money and buy paintings, or just change a painting, and that will work just fine as well. And then you have to play with the band two times for two minutes, so playing with the band for a total of four minutes. These Moonshine and Roll daily challenges are incredibly easy. Naturalist Roll, we got three forest or river animal samples taken for today. Um, so those will be relatively easy. Uh, that group is pretty easy, honestly. Uh, two hardy tonics used when too hot or too cold. This will require you guys to purchase the tonics um, or at least have the pamphlet purchase. Either way, it's going to be quite expensive to do this. $20 a piece or $22 a piece to buy the hardy tonics. So that's $44 roughly that you got to spend just to get half a gold bar. Again, it's up to you if you want to participate in that one. And then last but not least, we got one legendary animal photograph. You can either do this in the free roam or in one of the missions that Harriet does give to you before you actually sedate one of the wild uh, legendary animals. But anyway, that is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. I do apologize for the late release of this video, um, as I did not have any control over it. And um, But I'll be back doing, doing them at the normal time, hopefully very, very, very soon, which means tonight. <laughs> but until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming.